Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.ca, and in this video, I'll be taking a look at the new Google Maps app for the iPhone 5 and for iOS 6. So if you go ahead and go into the Google Maps app, and say for example you type in a location like New York, you'll see that you have uh, a current location button at the bottom uh, and it shows the location like so and also you can pull this up uh, and you can get a street view of New York uh, and you can see uh, the actual street view of it you can take a look at it, it's very interactive uh, and I can see that it's already better than the uh, standard iOS 6 Maps app uh, not only that but you can also uh, do uh, a certain route uh, say for example I can type in uh, Brooklyn and and you can see that it will do a route uh, so it can see which one is the best by car which one is the best by bus uh, and which one is the best by walking uh, so it basically integrates into your lifestyle uh, just for that aspect now if I want to get rid of it I could just simply pull it down uh, and it will go back down uh, and you can see that I could easily zoom in zoom out uh, and zoom in and zoom out again and you can see it's very refined it's very polished uh, to say the least uh, and I could just go around the map uh, and you can see that there's no lag whatsoever uh, and it's there's no drop frames or anything like that a current location button at the bottom uh, and it shows the location like so and also you can pull this up uh, and you can get a street view of New York uh, and you can see uh, the actual street view of it you can take a look at it, it's very interactive uh, and I can see that it's already better than the uh, standard iOS 6 Maps app uh, not only that but you can also uh, do uh, a certain route uh, say for example I can type in uh, Brooklyn and and you can see that it will do a route uh, so it can see which one is the best by car which one is the best by bus uh, and which one is the best by walking uh, so it basically integrates into your lifestyle uh, just for that aspect now if I want to get rid of it I could just simply pull it down uh, and it will go back down uh, and you can see that I could easily zoom in zoom out uh, and zoom in and zoom out again and you can see it's very refined it's very polished uh, to say the least uh, and I could just go around the map uh, and you can see that there's no lag whatsoever uh, and it's there's no drop frames or anything like that now also if you go to root and then you go to uh, choosing your starting point so say for example Brooklyn New York uh, and then I go ahead and select 22 minutes and select the uh, information right here it will then begin to root it uh, so then I could just preview right here at the side and if I turn on the volume you can see I can just go ahead and preview the route and also along with previewing the route I can see all the directions right here uh, and it will give me turn by turn uh, voice navigation as well uh, so that's also a nice feature uh, and it's much better than uh, uh, the 3D maps that Apple has now say if I was to type in New York uh, on the regular Apple maps right here uh, you can see if I even went to the 3D view uh, it's not as good uh, and there's still a lot of uh, things missing in the regular Apple Maps it does have potential uh, but at this point this was Apple's turning point and they went away with Google uh, so the standard iOS 6 Maps app uh, could have been just the Google Maps uh, app stock uh, but Apple went away with it and tried to do their own rendition
so overall, that is the Google Maps app for iOS 6. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, to me, it fits all my needs, and I do believe this is the Premier Maps app. Uh, it's also free, so that's definitely a plus. You have Street View, you have all the Google features. Google has basically perfected Maps, and that is the reason why this is definitely a must-have app. Not only that, but it has so many features. So please be sure to check out AppleCritics.ca, as this video is brought to you by AppleCritics.ca, and that is my new website about the latest Apple news, reviews, and more. So go ahead and check out AppleCritics.ca. Uh, also, please be sure to subscribe, like this video, please follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash AppleCritics. Also, like my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash AppleCritics. And please be sure to uh, like this video as I know you watched, and thanks for watching. And thanks for watching.